Communication and awareness, they come from actually two different areas of our mind. And when we realize this and actually learn how to do this, then we're going to find out that we're making some choices in our mindset that may not be what we really need. And we may think it's what we want, but the mind is actually very complex. And our mind, which is what controls everything in our world, all everything we do, when we're not fully in awareness of what we are doing, what we are thinking, and our reactions are to the different things that are in our world. So when you realize that concentration and awareness are two different fields of our mind not just your mindset but your mind and your mind does not move you may move your head or whatever but your mind is stationary your mind will keep its focus on what you want it to do your mind will always be the focus for you that you are feeling that you are projecting so when you realize that your awareness is what is moving all over the place your awareness is what is triggering your actions you may be aware of something one second and you may be aware of something else the next second boom 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 you're constantly jumping around and you're moving all over the place and there's no quick fix to control your awareness the only thing you can do is to learn from practice keep your awareness in check what are your focuses? What is your routine? When you have a focus pattern of what you want to create, maybe you have certain things you do each day to grow your business. Maybe one day you will do videos. Another day you'll write content. And the third day, maybe you're going to put out, you know, one or two or three of these videos and the content that you created. Maybe day four, maybe you're going to create ads. You're going to put out ads. So whatever you're doing, it's not just so much your meditation and your reading and your, your self-learning, your self-development. That is a given. You have to have a routine for that also. It's not hard. And when you implement all of these things into your daily routine, you are going to find out that your awareness will wander less when you have a routine that you are conditioning and training your mind to follow your mind will in turn follow whatever you choose to have it follow it's up to you what you want to do but when you do and you use focus concentration and then awareness you're going to find out that it's better and it's going to be so much simpler for you <coughs> excuse me because you have the power right there when you step out of your comfort zone step out of where you are feeling comfortable step out of that place that you feel like oh this is where i'm safe i can do all my good stuff from here i can just create and grow my manifestations from here when you can step out of where you're comfortable being and step into an awareness of where do i really want to go where do I want to have my life go? Where do I want to have my finances go? Where do I want my family to go? Where do I want this to happen? And want is a double-edged sword because it can leave you to lack. So you have to be really careful with that vibration. So one thing I'm going to tell you here straight up is it will not happen overnight. You will not wake up one morning and your awareness is in check. You will not wake up one morning and you're focused and your concentration is there. It just doesn't happen that way. Anyone that tells you that is totally mistaken because it comes from you developing the right routine, the right system that works for you to get your mind in order to be able to create it is hard work to do that when you're changing your mind oh my gosh your 
the program, what you have in your mind right now, what you have set up for it for however many years you've been, you know, on life, in life or whatever you're doing, you have conditioned your subconscious to be that being, to be that. So if you're changing it, it's going to rebel and it's going to rebel a lot. Don't listen to it. It is your subconscious mind and it just wants to help you. It just wants to take care of you. It just wants to protect you from everything out there. But there's no reason that you can't make those changes. There's no reason why. Just make a choice on what you want to create. What kind of a, and write it down. You've heard me say this repeatedly. Write it down. So when you focus and you get your concentration in order, Concentrate on something for more than five minutes, for more than seven seconds. Do you know, this is a fact. I, I found this fact. It is scientific. Children now, this day and age, the kids we have, the, our grandchildren, our children, these people right now, mainly it's if you're, depending on how old you are, it's the generation now, not the generation previous, which would be my children. It would be my grandchildren. When? They have a seven second concentration. Yeah. They concentrate for seven seconds before their little minds move on to something else. So if you want to help your children, your grandchildren, your nieces, nephews, you know, whoever, if you want to help them to increase their concentration, give them a routine. Because if you look in school, the kids have a routine, right? They get up in the morning at a certain time. They brush their teeth. They eat breakfast. They, they go catch the bus or they walk to school. Wherever, it depends on where they're at. There's a routine involved, right? A routine is how your subconscious knows what you want to do over and over and over. So if you want to teach your kids and teach yourself, you can do a thing maybe at home where you're all doing an activity or something. Change it up. Change the routine. Create a routine that is going to benefit your awareness on where you want to go, what you want to do. And that's a reason why you see and you hear about so many of these young people out there who are just going into um, social media. They're going into marketing. They're doing this online and they're doing it and they're 14, 15, 16 years old. And they're making millions of dollars. It's because they have the mindset and they don't let their awareness wander. They've learned this tool from their parents or whomever has taught them this. Well, it's not too late for you or myself. I've been working on this and teaching myself. And I have to say, I've been documenting my results and I have been astounded as to the results I've made myself and you know what I decided to share this with you because there's no reason to keep this awesome awesome training a secret when I can help you to change your awareness by changing your routine change your routine simple right like I said, your subconscious will rebel. It will have a fight with you at first, but it doesn't have to stay that way. You can change it just by saying, you know what? We're going to do this. I'm going to break my business down and what I'm going to do each day. I'm going to break my business down onto what I'm going to succeed at each day. And see the success you want to have. You're not going to get success if you don't see it happening. See it happening and you'll be more in tune to how it's going to manifest and how it's going to create for you. And self-development. You've heard me. I've been talking about this here for about two years now on different trainings. About two years I've been talking very strongly about self-development and what you need to do to get there and to grow and to expand and to become you can't become the person that is successful you can't become a wealthy person and keep the money i'll say and keep the money overnight you may win the lottery but within three or four years it's going to be gone unless you have 
the mindset and the awareness and the concentration and don't forget the focus to be able to use that money and keep it so this is what i'm just sharing with you today because this is so important and anyone that is already on my team you're going to see this and you're going to be like oh gosh this is our this is our next training we're doing a lot more involved with this so we're going to be over in the group mastermind marketers because anything you do in a mastermind and this is another group we have two mastermind marketer one and two groups so just come on over to the mastermind marketers that's an open group other groups are closed so you would have to have approval to get into those but definitely use your mind concentration focus awareness they all will work in conjunction with each other instead of apart from each other because right now it's a possibility i'm not going to say for sure it is for you but it's a possibility that your concentration and your awareness are not on the same page if you're not totally in focus on what you're doing and following your routines that you have set up it's not going to be a routine that i set up for you because i had to set my own routines and you'll find that anyone who is successful even if it's in sports or any type of a company we'll use sports as a demonstration here because anyone in the sports field like basketball players football players or they practice all the time they practice that hoop shot they practice in the baseball they practice hitting that home run they don't just do it overnight it comes with practice and it comes with conditioning and it comes with a routine of being sure you're working on yourself every single day successful people do not get success overnight it comes with repetitive working on yourself if you want to be successful if you want to have that lifestyle that you dream about having or that you envision you want and that's coming or it's right there it's right there in the cusp and you're just waiting for the shell to break what are you going to do that's your that's a question to you i can tell you what i do i can tell you what i know works but in order for it to work for you you have to get on board with what you really truly want to have and what you really want to do in your life it is that part is that simple changing your mind overnight is not going to happen and please do not listen to anyone that tells you there's a hack for the brain or there's a hack to do this because it's not true you can change your mindset you can change your concentration your focus and your awareness to work together because like I said at the beginning most people have a concentration that is one thing and it only lasts for like the, I said the kids now today's kids have a concentration span of seven seconds so if you're in that field where you concentrate on something for seven seconds and then you're on to the next thing or maybe you just want to scroll around social media and you don't you ruin your whole day you waste your whole day just scrolling that means your awareness is all over the place because your concentration and your awareness do not work together unless you have a routine in place that will condition your concentration your awareness your focus to work together like i said as i've learned how to do this and practiced it for a long time um i've decided to bring this out and do trainings for this because i want to see and i want to help as many many people as i can with this because it is when you feel it and when you see your awareness taking shape of your life and you're having the routines and you're having everything you want to come together that is in place for you why not have that ability to share it rituals and routines set them up for yourself have your own pattern but be sure whatever you're doing start your morning off regardless of where you're at or what you're doing 
or what your focus is, start your morning off for you. Do your meditation. Do your reading. Do your I am's. I am great. I am successful. I am prosperous. I am helping X number of people a day or whatever it is you want. Just be sure you're staying in focus with you. Be sure you're eating good and be sure you're exercising. Do the routines that are in the morning that will benefit you. Set up the routines for the rest of your days, whatever you choose to do, whatever you choose to have success at. It's all about you and what you're doing and how you're doing it. That is that simple. That is the simple part. Changing your mind, there is no hack. There is no hack. You can go in and hack it and, and it'll happen overnight. Don't let anyone tell you it will happen overnight. It's going to take time. But as you're changing and as you're growing your business, as you're growing your lifestyle, the two can work together or they can work apart. It's up to you. So, I choose to grow my business and my lifestyle together and my family together as one unit. It's easier for me that way because I like to keep it all incorporated. And it makes it so much simpler for me. Like I said, I can't tell you what you can do. I can tell you what I'm doing. So do these steps. Put them in whatever order you need to. Whatever you're doing. Like I said, if you're spending a day just cutting videos or maybe you're doing audios or maybe you're just you're going to write courses you're going to create courses for a couple of days have that on your routine put it into your routine what you want to do and if you start this out and be more consistent every day your subconscious mind is going to take hold of that and go oh okay we have a new pattern going that means neuroscience yes i talk neuroscience because i love neuroscience and it's because I learned through neuroscience that our brains create new pathways all the time. And what pathways do you want your brain to create? And no, I'm not a scientist. I'm not even being thinking that. I just love to study different ways that I can be successful and different ways I can give it forward and pay it forward. So I've been studying neuroscience. It's been five years now, six years. It's been a long time yeah it's been a long time and studying from some very high powered people who really know their stuff and like i said your brain re remaps itself all the time it is not stuck where it's at just because you think you learned something when you were 10 years old or five years old or four years old that it's stuck with you forever you can release that and put in a new pathway it's that that part is simple just like any new business system or any new strategy that you want to learn to grow your business, learn it, use it, do it. And don't ever miss up on an opportunity that you are going to learn to grow yourself. Don't miss up on any opportunities that is going to take you to the next level. That's going to launch you forward because you are amazing. And I would love to hear back from you. So leave me messages um, and tell me how you're doing. Tell me what's going on and tell me how this system I put out here for you, it's up there. Um, tell me how that's working out for you because I'm really excited. I've had so many people respond back of how great it's working for them. So I would love to hear back from you also. Okay, guys, I will chat with you later. Bye-bye.